was deployed with um, Lima Company as a group uh, working off of um, HMS Ocean in the Gulf. Um, we'd stopped off in Dubai for a bit of downtime over Christmas. Uh, during that time, uh, I took part in some adventure training and uh, that involved uh, doing some dune buggying in the desert. Unfortunately, that resulted in a crash and um, that crash left me paralyzed. The RAF came out and sent a plane to take me back to the UK on Christmas day. And then I had my surgery the following day on Boxing Day to fix my spine in place with metal work. But with spinal cord injury, there's a lot of uncertainties. I mean, for some people, after a couple of months, they, they make a huge regain and they can start walking again. Unfortunately, in my case, the, the damage was complete. So, um, you know, the chances of me, you know, re recovering any kind of function below that level of injury are incredibly minute um, to basically, you know, it's very, uh, it's just not gonna happen probably. One of the earliest key worries was how am I gonna get back home because it's a, it's a three story house. The Royal Marines Charity put in uh, two stair lifts so I could access the whole of my house and they got that done, you know, straight away. So as soon as I'd finished my first admission at Headley Court, I was able to then come home and um, be back with my family. The biggest life-changing piece of kit that the Royal Marines Charity have got for me was the electric power attachment that clips onto the front of my wheelchair. That piece of kit has massively helped me to get my life back together, uh, getting back to walking my dog on my own. That was a really big part of my life. Even little things like being able to nip out and go and get milk from the village shop, I can actually be more of a positive asset at home than a burden. Lauren has been absolutely pivotal in everything to do with my recovery. I'm so grateful and so proud of her. You know, she's got two very young kids, four and eight years old. She's had to keep life together for them as much as possible, as well as trying to help me as best she can. She organised and carried out a 50 mile force march from here in Limpston right across Dartmoor to Bickley Barracks, which is where I was based, and she was able to help support me in providing the Royal Marines Charity with some money that went towards my attachments from my wheelchair so I could do hand cycling from my wheelchair. I've been incredibly lucky to have the support of the Royal Marines Charity and the Royal Marines Association. I think the sort of self-pride of being a Royal Marine um, has been a big part of being able to cope with um, being paralysed, you know, for every step of my recovery, I still feel like I'm representing the Corps, you know, and if anyone is watching me and the way I'm coping, you know, I feel like I still need to maintain that bearing and that pride for the Corps. You know, once a boot neck, always a boot neck. I still am a Royal Marine. <laughs>